GGRC. Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of GGRC. I'm RC, and today we're going to be checking out Still Not Dead. This is on Steam. It's a uh, pretty crazy first-person shooter. That is to say, it's sort of, as it's described on the store page, it is Doom and Nuclear Throne put together. Now, I will say that the, this game kind of has a ways to go before it's up to the par of, say, a Doom or a Nuclear Throne because those are very uh, fun and polished games. But the, the idea is basically it's a first-person shooter meets that of a, a roguelike or a roguelite. And um, it's actually pretty fun here. I've only played through about two runs of it. The first one I died, the first one I actually got through the first six stages, uh, which I guess is all of the stages. And um, so I've only put about a half hour into this, but I feel like that's enough to kind of show off what this game is because there's not much to it, but it's actually a lot of fun. So uh, you can see here on run one, high score of six, which means I reached stage six and I got 215 kills. Uh, let's actually jump right in. It's the best way to understand what's going on here. So we'll start run one. And once it pop, uh, pops you in here, uh, when you first start, you have the option of picking a blessing. Now, every time you go back and forth between um, levels, like it, we're starting uh, stage one here, what happens is you pick a blessing, and then you start stage two, you pick a curse. So you actually go back and forth hurting, uh, helping and hurting yourself, which is kind of interesting. Um, so between these blessings, we could pick between... Uh, uh, when you're below 25 HP, shooting guns only has 50% chance to reduce ammo. Uh, map icon show exactly uh, show the exact item or weapon. That's actually going to be pretty helpful, which I'll show you in just a second here. And dropping an item sells it for half half of its value, giving you money. And you are going to collect money as you kill monsters throughout this to buy ammo and other items as you uh, go through the the level here. But let's pick psychic because this is going to be super helpful. Uh, you can see the mini map on the bottom left. That normally what's there uh, is just uh, generic icons for uh, you know ammo. Uh, you can see the hearts are for life and everything like that, uh, but you'll see that the guns are actually more detailed there I haven't played enough of this to know exactly what the guns are from uh, little icons like that uh, But that I could see that definitely being helpful uh, going forward. All right, so the whole point here is that you're playing this very uh, Pixelated style first-person shooter the whole point is to get uh, the amount of kills that they tell you to get at the beginning of the level so you can see at the beginning uh, of the level something pops up tells you how many kills to get you can see at the top right there. I currently have 14. Whoa We got uh, now 12 kills to get and I just picked up uh, 10 gold from that guy there and 10 gold from this guy here uh, So you got zombies running at you. You got floating skulls coming at you. Whoa, and they come from everywhere They will come at you uh, very quickly. So you got to watch your ass man um one thing I like about this game is that I like the pixel look. I, I think it's very cool looking. Um, I think it accomplishes what it's going for. It's, it definitely has, um, uh, definitely a, an ode to Doom. I mean, you could feel the Doomness in this. Uh, but obviously, the pixel pixel art style is much different. Uh, so you can hear the see the body on the spike there. Um, the other ode to Doom with this game also is the fact that you cannot look up or down. You do, you don't get mouse look. Uh, here we go. We're coming up on some items here to pick up, so let's go pick them up. So, yeah, I cannot look up and down, which is pretty interesting. Uh, a lot of games nowadays don't seem to kind of do that. They, you know, they kind of ignore that Doom started out uh, with you only being to, able to look back and forth, you know, along a horizontal plane. There we go. We got all of our kills. We can now leave. The green stairs are what you want to leave, but we need to find some items as well. Uh, we actually got a gun and some ammo over here to pick up, so I think we're going to... Go check out what that stuff is. Um, one of my pet peeves with this game... Oh, there we go. We gotta get to an exit, because if we don't, uh, there's this big, crazy monster that comes after us. We cannot afford the ammo. Uh, we got 10 HP, though, which is good. And here's the other ammo. This is an Uzi. We still can't afford that either. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, so there's the big bad guy that's coming after us there. We got another flying skull. We're gonna jump through the door as quickly as we can because we're about to die. Uh, one of the things is that the, the game is super forgiving with your health. So if you feel like you're getting hit a lot, you know, you're not gonna go from 100 to 20 immediately. Uh, you can see I was getting hit by a zombie uh, a lot right there uh, earlier in the level. And I went from 100 to 80, which is, a, a, you know, a lot more forgivable. Uh, let's see here. So now we actually have to pick a curse. So we have, let's see. Buying something alerts all the enemies within 50 meters, so that could be 
absolutely terrible. 50% chance to lose a random item, which means if you get a gun uh, that you had uh, in a previous level and you go to the next level, because items are typically everything you can carry. They could be, you know, food, it could be uh, weapons, it could be anything that you happen to be carrying. Um, and you can't shoot guns for the first 20 seconds of each stage. Man, none of these sound good. Now, you have the option of losing 5 HP. We currently have 50. If we lose 5, we could re-roll these and pick something that's not as good. Um, if you do none of the above, it kind of just, like, picks for you. I I'm just going to have it choose for me here because I don't like any of it, but it'll give us some gold. So I like that he's actually added in these options down here um, to uh, help you decide if you have a hard time deciding because I know I am. Uh, I went with pocket holes, so... Okay. Now, the only thing is that you'll see up here um, that your curses and your blessings up in the top left, it actually shows you icons for what those things are. But it would have been nice that if when you paused it, you had the ability to roll over them and uh, remember what they do. Because right now, just by the icon, I, I don't remember what they do at all. Um, so right now, I don't have any weapons because that 50% thing kicked in. So right now, I'm kind of in a hopeless run. I have <laughs> nothing I can do right here. Luckily, these guys can't get at me here. You do have the ability to sprint in this game, uh, but you do have a sprint meter that you can see down there in the middle. Uh, that does go down. I wish uh, that did not, that was not affected at all because, man, it would be nice to actually, okay, there, oh shit, that guy is just <laughs> eating me alive. I think there might be a gun over here I can buy. Yeah, right here, can I afford it? Yes, I got the hell shot, okay. Wow, that is a slow moving bullet though, I gotta tell you. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill enough enemies in time or even stay alive here. Yeah, I'm down to five health. I think this is going to be a bad run for me. So, run one, stage two of six. So, we hit stage two. Uh, if we hit main menu. Apparently, that was a new best run. I don't believe it. <laughs> but regardless, uh, it lets you know what your uh, you know high score and everything was down here. Um, we're going to jump right back in. Let's go to... Um, Let's see, bullets are two times as fast. I was using this on the the run that I actually did really well in, so let's pick that one again. Let's go see what we can do here. So I will say, admittedly, uh, when I was asked to check this game out, I saw the trailer and I said, you know what, okay, let's give it a shot. A lot of times these pixel art games are just not great, right? You know, the, you, you expect a lot from them because they, they're trying to evoke things like Doom, a, a game that is a absolute classic, right? And you play it, and you're just like, eh, this just doesn't feel right, you know? It's just, I don't know. It feels janky, feels weird. Uh, there are things about this game that I do think feel janky. Like, I don't like the weapons and how they feel. The weapons themselves, like this pistol, for instance, when it shoots, it feels like I'm shooting a pea shooter, and it sounds like that as well. It needs better sounds for the guns. Um, but overall, the, the gameplay itself is fun. Uh, there's little things that you could tweak here and there, but overall, it's fun. And uh, like I said... Uh, it didn't take long to really understand what the hell is going on in the game, which is another thing that I like. I like a game that you just get into and it's like, oh, wow, I, I got in and I know exactly what I'm doing here. I feel like a lot of games nowadays try to sort of like over complicate things sometimes instead of just uh, giving you a game that's like up front, just like something you can load up and be, be like, boom, I don't need a tutorial. Just get in and play and you'll understand how to play within the first five minutes. Uh, what do we have to pick up here? There is... You can see now on my mini-map that there is now a generic weapon icon there. That orange weapon icon. Let's destroy these guys. There we go. And if you ever need to see the mini-map better, you can always hit R. And you can see it's just a little bit bigger here. But you can see... We, we should head over to that orange gun just so we see if we can buy that gun. Because we do have almost 500 uh, gold there to spend. Uh, one of the other things, too, I wish the mini-map actually showed the structures in which things were housed because sometimes it'll be like the gun is here on this this part of the mini map right and you'll head over there but sometimes there'll be like two or three buildings and you're not sure which building or where something is and that could be pretty annoying all right we got the hell's hand i don't know what it does but we're gonna give it a shot here we're actually gonna run towards the exits get away from that big head that wants to eat us uh, i think it's this way oh man hell's hand Creates a big explosion. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, okay, we're gonna try to avoid these enemies and just run for the exit. There we go. All right, now we gotta pick a curse. Cross here, reticle is removed. I could remove that at one point, and it is. It does actually change things a little bit. Can't melee attack. I'm gonna go with that because I don't melee as it is. So who cares? Okay. 
Okay, there's that. Let's grab this gold over here. Uh, the variety of in enemies, I think, is pretty good, too. Uh, you'll see that there's, like, a sorcerer guy, like that guy I just killed. Um, if he gets teamed up with a bunch of other enemies, he could be really deadly. Because uh, he could put up walls around you that you can't escape. Uh, which at times I'm just like, oh my god, this feels super unfair. Uh, you got this weird, like, cross-bearing spider thing that shoots at you. Um, you got these regular zombies. Uh, you got these, uh, black zombies. Whoa, okay, now we're getting quite a few here. Time to switch to Hell's Hand. There we go. That's actually a pretty fun weapon to use. Uh, so you got this, see, there's the walls that the guy put up. You can't escape, but the enemies can come in after you. These guys, when you kill them, they explode and shoot out at you. There we go. Let's pick up all this gold they dropped here. And we do have a gun along the way over here. Uh, there's some other zombies, too, that we haven't seen in any of these runs yet, but they are carrying this big explosive barrel. And uh, if you shoot them, destroy them, they will explode. So <laughs> another thing to, to look out for, those exploding zombies. I think it's a pretty good uh, life note, though. Watch out for the exploding zombie. Uh, so you can see here, this gun is obviously around this wall here. So we need to get around that wall to see if we can get over to that gun. And sometimes it feels like you're going on a wild goose chase to get over to where these items are. And that can be a real pain in the ass sometimes. Um, now obviously it's more of a, a difficulty thing. Uh, I don't know if changing the items on the minimap to look like they're in certain structures and stuff like that will actually uh, help. I mean, it'll help the player, but I don't know if it'll help the difficulty. See, like, the gun's over there, but I don't even know if I can get over to it. I'm, like, on the edge of the map at this point. Yeah, see, we're already at a gate here. Hmm. So this is where, with this game, I, I question a little bit of its of its random nature. Obviously, as a, a roguelike or roguelite type of game, um, when you start a level, it's going to be different from the last level, and stage one will always be different from a previous stage one. But because of that, um, it seems like this game needs a little bit more tweaking in that aspect because not all items are always accessible. And I find that to be a really annoying. Considering every level you're timed and you can't go and inch your way through every level to find what you're looking for uh, because you, you have only so much time to, to get kills and collect items before you got to jump to the next stage. I think it's a little unfair to make it so that way some items you're going, you're, like say there's you're on one side of the map and you're trying to make your way to the other side of the map because that's where a gun is. To get there only to find that there's like no way around to get to that gun I think is a little unfair. Um, all right, let's see here. I haven't used adrenaline shots yet. This one will give you 30. Explosions are three times as big. Let's go for that because we got the, the hell hand. I wonder if that'll apply to that. Let's find out, shall we? Uh, hard to tell. That's all right. We got some ammo in this room, I think. Oh, and there's some health to pick up, too. Health comes in the form of, like, carrots and apples and that kind of thing. So, even though you're in this crazy uh, dimension of the dead, you'll still be eating healthy. So, something to keep in mind. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta eat healthy, no matter where you are. Make sure you order healthy food. Alright, we need this ammo. But now we're down to 250 as far as money goes. So, if, even if we find a weapon, we're not going to be able to really do much with it. So this game currently is uh, 10 bucks on Steam. As of my recording this, uh, the autumn sale is going on. So when you guys watch this, if the autumn sale is over, that probably won't be the case. Um, so the game is normally 10 bucks. During the sale right now, it's 250. I think for two dollars, uh, a game that's two dollars and fifty cents. Uh, this feels worth it to me because you're going to play it for a few hours, get your time out of it. Uh, if you get really, really into it, I feel like it's one of those games that will get really deep for you, like any roguelike. Um, and you'll end up playing it for quite a while. Um, but it all depends on the person, right? If this looks like something you'd want to play, then I feel like this is a game that you get, you know, quite a bit of time out of. Um, but... If you're not so much into, like, pixel shooters and that kind of thing, maybe uh, it's something, uh, you know, to, to pass up on. Now, uh, I will also let you know that the uh, creator of this game, he is still updating the game. Uh, I'm, I have a hard time reading 
what stage the actually the game is actually in because I know that Steam actually has you know the early access set up and everything for games so it could let you know hey this game is available to play but it's not quite uh, you know officially uh, released yet oh shit we are nowhere near an exit here are we all right we're gonna book our way over here maybe hopefully pick up this health on the way there's an apple I'm gonna pick that up Yep, there's the exit. Oh, enemies everywhere! Woo! <laughs> Running for the exit there reminds me of the Quake Rave episodes where I play and, you know, there's there's like a shambler at the very end and I'm like, nope! And then I just, you know, run past him into the exit, you know? Pretty fun. Uh, but the, the uh, guy who is developing this game, I believe it is a one-man team, uh, he uh, is still continuously updating it. And in fact, uh, the last big update for this was just a couple weeks ago. Um, but the, the game, I can't tell if it's still in early access or not, because it does say early access update on the front of the game when you load it up. So, you know, buyer beware, I guess, maybe, uh, because it might still be in early access. But regardless, the game is fully playable, uh, has a lot to do in it already. So uh, if you're, you're wondering if the game, you know, has enough to do in it, uh, it definitely does. Uh, I guess at this point, let's see, when a weapon hits zero ammo, it's either restored to full ammo. 25% chance or destroyed. Wow, that's a big one. Supply demand. Buying weapon ammo raises its price by 25%. Let's just remove the crosshair here. That I can handle. Now we gotta get 27 kills. So yeah, I mean, a lot of the things in this game that I could critique about it, though, are just sort of like, I think, part of the charm and part of the idea of the difficulty behind it. Uh, but there are certain things about it that do need to change. Uh, the game runs great. It, it, it runs smooth as butter on my machine. I haven't had any hiccups. Uh, runs at a full 60 FPS, no problem. Uh, obviously, you know, you guys are probably watching thinking, yeah, it ought to. It's a, just a, a pixel <laughs> a pixel shooter or whatever. Uh, but you'd be surprised how many of those games that people create and they don't run great. This one runs awesome. It's even got, like, rain effects in it, which is pretty sweet. Um, let's see here. What else we gotta do? Just wish we can get a new weapon. Let's head this way. Let's go see if we can get another new weapon. Oh, those are food seeds. Those food seeds are interesting. If you buy them, you can actually you throw them out, and it grows like a small tree and produces fruit for you. Uh, so I thought that that was kind of a creative way to go about giving the player an option to get uh, health back instead of just like giving them a health pack. It's kind of cool. Where is this gun at? Oh, you're not dead yet. Okay. Oh, it's another... It's just another hand. Come on, there's got to be more guns available than that. I already got Hell's Hand. Which I think we're going to use right here. Ah! I'm getting swarmed here. This is the other thing. You don't want to run around the level just like willy-nilly aggroing everybody because... You are going to aggro everybody, and they will be pissed, and they will take you out quickly. Okay, I'm just waiting for this wall to go away. There we go. All right, the other weapon looks like it's in here. Can we actually afford it? Yes, we can. Now we got the Uzi. Now, the Uzi does feel much better... Uh, than the pistol or some of the other game uh, guns that I've used. So far, I've used the Uzi and the shotgun. Both of those feel very, very good. Uh, but I still think the sounds need to be sort of adjusted, you know? Uh, jumping throws a grenade. I thought that this one was pretty interesting. I got this one earlier as well. Take you out. Look at that. You just tear through these enemies like it's nothing. Look how much... How, uh, look how uh, full the area is now with enemies, though, compared to the, the other previous levels. There are just a ton of enemies everywhere. But yeah, for a small game that's developed by one person, I, I'm actually quite impressed by this. Um, I wouldn't call this like a be-all, end-all game for those of you looking for another Doom type of game. Here's another gun. Uh, I don't know that I... Oh, I can afford it. Let's grab it. So we have another option so you guys can see the shotgun. Let's kill the head. There you go. Okay, let's check out the shotgun. Actually, the shotgun is pretty sweet. Oh yeah, I forgot that I can jump and throw a grenade. Oh man, I'm almost done. 
But as I was saying, yeah, I, th I think this is a very impressive game for somebody who's working alone on it. Uh, if that is in indeed the case. Uh, because the, um, the the person behind it, uh, the, the, the team behind it, is actually uh, described as uh, just one guy, Greg something. I missed his name. We'll see it again on the title screen here before we end. Look at the effects here, too. You shoot that and bricks come out. Okay, kills are achieved. I need to find some health bad. Like, real bad. There's another gun there, too, but... I don't think I really need that. I got plenty of guns. I just need health now. Jesus. These zombies are... They're nuts. There's an apple. Whoa! Okay, there we go. We got health. I keep forgetting that when I jump, I have that stupid grenade. <laughs> it's destroying me. Here we go. We got another exit. I think we're up to the last level here. We'll be, we'll be very close if we hit the end here. Uh, let's see. Buying one. Da, da, da. All map icons except exits look identical. Well, that's fine with me because we're looking to just get to the exit here. I just want to get to the end to show you guys that I can do this. Oh, there's the exploding zombie guy. That was not smart to blow him up right next to me. And it's probably not smart to throw a grenade right next to myself either. Oh, God. Guys, I don't think I'm going to survive this. Oh, yeah, that's the end. That's the end. Okay, let's go back to the main menu. There you go. Um, so that is uh, still not dead. Like I said, um, I've sort of been talking about it a lot, you know, uh, during that run or whatever how my, my feelings on it and everything but I gotta say like uh, when I came into this I didn't expect much and I think it's really really cool um, you can see here in the top uh, left though how it says early access update 9 so I assume that that's the update that it's currently on sounds like it's still in early access I guess that's the case um, but like I said this is a fully functioning game seems like uh, uh, here is uh, Greg Sargent is still going through and uh, updating this regularly and what I think he's created is a, a simple and fun, easy to learn, but uh, you know, but really fun to play, um, FPS uh, roguelike type of game. So I, I definitely recommend uh, checking this one out because, I, I, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, just a few little nitpicks here and there, but overall, the game itself is a lot of fun. Um, as I stated during the video earlier, you know, a lot of these pixel games come out and they're they, they're kind of trash, right? Uh, but this one, I was very pleasantly surprised, and I, I definitely. Uh, Definitely recommend checking it out for the price, but there you go, everybody. GG, and I'll see you all next time. GGRC.